Hey guys, what's up? This is Xwolfx Scared, and I'm bringing you a walkthrough, well, more of a playthrough of Bioshock Infinite. I am currently playing on my new computer, but I am using kind of a different. I'm not doing any presets for the quality. It's um, high and normal mainly, but um, because I do, I get about 60 frames without fraps on Ultra, but only about like 20 with fraps. So. But so we're going to play this game, and I played through the first little bit of it, about maybe 30 minutes into it. But okay, let's go on medium. And let's got, let's do this, guys. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I just haven't been able to. So. Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Land on it. So you expect me to show What's you the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does. There's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. Okay, so we've arrived on this mysterious island, and um, we are sent we to. When we'll be returning? With that change in it. It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey, is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. <laughs> well, maybe there's someone inside. So I've, whoops, I've gone through this part. I've played through the first 30 minutes about 30 times. I've just kind of been waiting to get my computer completely set up to be able to record some Bioshock. But um, I'm hoping to do a full walkthrough. But I just don't know if that's going to be possible because uh, from what I've heard, like a 15 hour long game and do it. Bring us the girl and wipe away the dead. This is your last chance. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Of thy sins shall I wash thee. I've always thought that my character, Booker, looks a little what odd. That, with his, you know, face and all that. Is, is but... anyone here? Hello? One thing I have noticed is this has, um, at least in my opinion, the music in it is very, uh, what am I trying to say, the music in it is very Fallout 3 reminiscent to me, because, you know, they have kind of like the old swing music and all that, wait, wait, that was, oh yeah, there's a bullet and a crack. I guess that was a gunshot, maybe? I don't know what else could have caused that crack. Shit. Jesus. But this is a very, very, very beautiful game. Use bells.
Oh hey, that thing locked. Oh whoa. <laughs> I haven't played this in a couple days, I forgot what was going on. I'm trying to be quiet kind of during cutscenes, but uh, I don't, I guess this is like how they communicate or something. It's, um, it's kind of weird because it seems like other people would notice, you know, this whole thing happening around them. Because we're not that far out from, you know, civilization, like, like two or three miles. Maybe? I don't know, because I can see land, like, pretty close by. Alright. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. This is... I just don't trust this chair at all. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The binding's are there as a safeguard. This is a great game, but I really I really doubt that he rolled his head all the way around like that. No, no, god damn it! Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. Three. Two. One. No! Yeah, my guy just looks really weird to me. Like, in game it looks a lot different than what the post. Whoa! Hallelujah. <laughs> this is a very, very beautiful game. This reminds me of that one level of um, Super Mario 64 when you're up in the clouds. And um, there's like a big, like, floating pirate boat. I could never get past the level come to think of it. <laughs> and one reason why I was holding off on this, I don't know if I already mentioned it was because I really wanted to get a controller adapter from Amazon so I could use uh, my Xbox controllers, but I haven't been... I just now ordered it the other day, so it's supposed to come in the mail like Monday or something, but I'm not gonna be here Monday. Why would he send us why would he send his saver on to us if he if he, we will not raise a finger for our own salvation. And though we deserve not his mercy, he had led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. Really beautiful music in this game. Just the choir that's singing right now, if you can hear that in the background, is really beautiful. And the prophet shall lead the new people to the new Eden. It kind of looks like Moses, even though I know that's Comstock. I guess it's kind of supposed to look like that. Can I... Get out. Oh, there we go. I will admit I do love this game very much, but um, like like people say they give it five out of five and ten out of ten and all that, but um, one thing I don't like is like you can't see your feet. It just kind of it always bugs me about that. And in my womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. Alright, now we just gotta run over this way. The reflections are good, but you can't see your player. That's another thing, but... Play audio long. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Sinner, because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Yes. 
So now we've heard from Lady Comstock, which is, you know, probably Father Comstock's wife or sister. Some relationship between the two. So Regal. I already have $36 in the first, like, five Excuse minutes of the me. game. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Let's keep such questions to myself. Nice haircut, dude. <laughs> it's kind of a weird haircut. And the, uh, it is just so beautiful. All the, the water reflections and all that. Oh yeah, one thing that I've noticed from playing through, I think, yep. There's the sword, the key, and the scroll from the lighthouse. And every year, oh my god, that is a perfect screenshot day, right there for a background. We recommit ourselves to our city. And to our prophet, Father Comstock, we recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? One thing I want to notice real quick, he, all these guys look like Macklemore, like this guy looks exactly like Macklemore if you ask me. I just need passage into the city. I don't know, it's... You don't look like Brother, my core, you're bald. The way to Columbia is through <laughs> being birth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? <laughs> hey. He just grunts. <laughs> I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the dead! What do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. Not gonna do it. Go away. No. One thing you can tell from this is um, his addictions, probably what got him into the debt, is gambling, alcoholism, and cigarettes. Probably cigarettes is the least because I think, you know, back in 1910 they weren't, uh, whoa. You can see um, Columbia up in the top right. That's, I guess this is New York. I mean, it'd have to be New York. <laughs> Idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. <laughs> oh, find a landmark. first time my friend played through this game on my computer, he said, is that Gabe Newell? And I was like, whoa, that, no, that's Franklin. But there's Franklin, Washington, and Jefferson. Of course, he is holding a scroll, sword. Oh, wait, no, is that the gun? Yep, that's the gun, key, and sword. Or is that a scroll? Yeah, that's cool. I don't know why I said gun. Okay, well, I think we'd end this, uh, the intro part right here. Yeah, that does look like Macklemore a lot. I don't know why I think that, but... Okay, so thank you, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more.